In a corner of Serbia, Bačka Fortress, a 14th century castle. It was destroyed 300 years ago and is now a national heritage monument. It's still under attack, despite huge conservation efforts. We are actively trying to consolidate it, but the structure remains very fragile. Clay bricks used in the walls have deteriorated badly. There aren't even any foundations under the walls in some places, which further risk stability. But now European researchers have joined archaeologists and conservation workers to hunt for solutions. They're working to see what's inside and beneath these walls. And this research has enabled them to develop an innovative material, specially conceived to protect these old bricks using a new coating in an environmentally friendly way. We're currently testing this new coating material. It's completely natural. There aren't any toxic elements. I could safely drink it if I wanted to. The research aims to help make new green products to protect cultural heritage sites made fragile by frost, water, organic agents, chemical corrosion and other weathering processes. We've developed two innovative materials, one to consolidate the structure, another to preserve it. We think they are truly green and environmentally friendly. They are made from silicates and carbonates and have a very similar composition to the bricks, mortar and concrete used in these walls. Field research helps scientists get a precise idea of how bricks and mortar were made in the Middle Ages. Then in the lab they take the same clay and other raw materials using the same production methods, almost perfect replicas are manufactured. Then the research gets really tough. Once fabricated, we have to artificially weather these replica bricks. So we expose them to salt and freeze thaw cycles. We also expose them to sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide. And we attack them with polluting microbiological agents. After this, the conservation and preservation materials also made in the lab are sprayed on the now weathered replica bricks. Results from these trials are carefully assessed. Scientists say preliminary findings have been quite encouraging. Our research shows this preservation material does have photocatholytic properties. It is also self-cleaning and antimicrobial. It destroys any organic materials that could alter the surface of the bricks. And it is transparent. It doesn't change the aesthetic appearance of the building material you want to preserve. This factory, which makes building materials such as stucco and plaster, has also joined the research effort. It's hosting a pilot production site and testing facilities for these new conservation materials. And it does so for a very good reason. It's a very innovative product that could improve our market placement. It's made of simple materials, it's easy to mix and produce. If the research proves it's effective, this product could be on the market in around three years. And that would be very good news, researchers say, not just for the conservation of old bricks here, but of thousands of other heritage monuments around Europe.